Okay, so this video is going to look at subject review. So I'm assuming you're a subject leader. And we are going to look at an exam grade set here, 2017-18. But this will work as effectively if you're looking at a monitoring grade point and you have a line management meeting where you're expected to have done quite a lot of analysis on that monitoring data in Connect. OK, I've got year 13, by the way, but it will work equally as well at year 11. So I'm subject leader. I'm going to pop into my subjects. Now, 2017-18 results. I am, for all um, argument's sake this afternoon, a head of biology. So we're going to focus on biology. So I have achieved a grade six with my department. Um, and I'm thinking, mm, I'd like that to be a bit higher. What could we have done differently? so that we can set our priorities for the coming year. Uh, incidentally, you could have four uh, exam points on here so you can see the trend. I'm just keeping it simple. All right then, so I'm gonna pop into biology here and this is my subject page. Incidentally, there are other videos that I've done on individual aspects of what I'm gonna flick through this afternoon. So do watch those if you want any more detail on any particular feature. Right then. I've got two, two sets in biology. I'm a grade six overall on the thermometer. There's my gap analysis. Now bear in mind that my score of 0.2 of a difference is a grade per student. The boys and girls have a difference of 0.1. So the girls are outperforming the boys by about half a grade. Similarly, my non-disadvantaged are outperforming their disadvantaged um, peer group by half a grade. Okay, so teaching sets down here. I've got two, and one's blue and one's black. Four, nice, not far off of an, uh, a, a red three. Going to be concerned about this grade seven. Okay, so if I pop in here, okay, look at the gender gap now between the boys and girls in this set. It's almost a grade per student. Um, and similarly, my disadvantaged is the same. So I'm already starting to see uh, some uh, concerns and those would have to be addressed going forward. So there, I'm already sort of starting to plan my um, action points for the coming academic year. Now, I want to just have a look at some of the students in this group to get a feel for what's going on and what could have been done differently. So. Um, if I go in my students and pop on this what if, what would it have taken to take this set out of the blue? Click and drag, drop it on a grade five. I would have needed six students to improve by a grade. I might then look at my students and say, that student could have done better, could have done better. I'm just choosing random students here. And look at what's happening to my thermometer over here. So those students are, are, are have gone, they've they finished, but if it's a monitoring point, you can see the power of doing that. But there's also, a, I think, something to be um, gained from sitting down with that teacher and looking and talking about that type of student and how uh, they can move that type of student on in the future. OK, let's reset that and go back to my biology overview page. So I can look at my students here. Now, I'm going to just sort by prior ach achievement. These are my highest prior achieving GCSE students. They're all minimum expected uh, grades are A's and look at how many got the A, none. So let's do a little what if on this. Click and drag. What would it have taken from my biology department to be a red three, 13 grades? So let's just look at these A grades. Now I'm being totally optimistic here, but I'm just for argument's sake assuming that I could have moved all of those to an A. OK, look at what's happened. That's my three. So I've already sort of started to establish maybe some grade boundaries that might be um, that might need to be focused on in the year ahead. And I'm certainly not converting those A grades with those high prior attainers. So that's potentially an area where I might want to develop some intervention material or develop my uh, schemes of work in order to address that issue. Let's reset that, go to outcomes, slightly different way of looking at the what if. Let's say you've got a target of no E grades. If I click and drag my E grades to the D 
again it's just modeling what the effect of that is you can't see any students i know that but it's just giving you a feel for um what that grade uh aspect might look like if you if you targeted it to the one up okay let's pop into now the student area so this is my horizontal view of all the students um it's 134 students in the year group i'm going to isolate biology click on that biology and drag and i've suddenly got my 23 students here look at the mosaic so this student here is blue in biology two below minimum expected but is also two below in geography and one below in chemistry so this student underperformed across the board it's something for us to look at holistically as a school um, however if you look at um, a student for example like 127 down here they have achieved their minimum expected grade in maths and in chemistry and in biology they're below their minimum expected grade so what happened in my subject that didn't happen in others so it's just giving you a little bit of insight into how these students are performing across all of their subjects and again they've gone they're done but it might give you some insight into how to adapt your teaching uh, or your, your structure of your course uh, in the year ahead. Finally, I'm going to show you this monitoring accuracy. Now, what I've got here is I've got there's their exam outcome, and that was their last prediction before the exam. So look at my biology department. They're predicting a grade three, and we got a six, which is a difference of 0.14. That's three quarters of a grade out. So that's what my that's what my key priority surely got to be this year is to address the accuracy of predicting because I'm assuming that we were inter intervening with the wrong students because we just over predicted. Let's pop into um, the biology um, area with that. Um, sorry, before I do that, I'm just going to set my grade points up uh, so that I've just got those two grade points showing so that was my may results okay so uh pop into biology right then so that's my prediction and that's my actual outcome if i look at my two sets actually you can see those superimposed with they were both being predicted a grade three and we came out with a grade six now what that doesn't show it doesn't show that uh, set one um, I sorry, I set two, I think it was, actually got a grade four. Um, so somewhere in the line that there's a bit of over predicting going on and we need to address that going forward. So I hope that's given you a flavour of all the different places in Connect Interactive that you might visit in order to get a good uh, bit of analysis going for your line management meetings and setting your objectives for the coming academic year.